Hello again, teachers. This is John over in Educational Technology, and today we are going to address um, audio, or at least sharing audio, when you are doing some synchronous learning online. And um, when I phrase it that way, I mean because it sounds like the vast majority of us are going to be using Google Meet, um, but a lot of us are still going to be using uh, Blackboard Collaborate. So in either of these solutions, remember that they are web-based. So when they're web-based, it's very difficult to share like everything you're saying through your microphone, but also everything on your computer, your system, uh, which we will call system audio. But there is a great way that works. It's just a little limited depending upon what you're trying to do. So when you present uh, in, in a Google Meet, and by the way, this is very similar in Blackboard. I'm just not actually showing that. You, Many of us are used to just saying, I'm going to share my entire screen. And there's nothing wrong with that. That works great because then you know that, hey, anything and everything I'm doing on my screen is going to be shared. Also be aware, though, that you have a window. So window would be like, say I'm trying to illustrate something in um, my RecordX app, for example. Well, they don't need to see my Chrome app if I'm doing something in RecordX app. So this would be a good example where you're just sharing that one application. However, you guys notice this other one at the bottom. This is actually new. It says a Chrome tab. So again, you will need to be using Chrome on either a Windows device, Chromebook, or Mac uh, computer. This one even tells you it is best for video and animation. So when I choose this one, uh, I can actually share the audio from that tab. You cannot do that from the entire screen. You cannot do that from a window right now, because again, remember this is web-based, but Chrome does allow that. So I am in Chrome right now, and if I choose a Chrome tab, I'm going to choose one that already has some music. So for example, uh, let's say I set up a playlist that I'm going to use for um, music between activities in class. So I can go on to that tab and make sure that this box here at the bottom where it says share audio is is clicked. When I do that, I click on share, it is now sharing that tab that I have open. And when I play music from that tab, it will now play digitally straight through um, the same great for that, that you know, for whatever I'm doing. Dark, the same is true for any other tab though as well. So let me stop that one for now. And now let's say that I want to share another Chrome tab, and this time I actually want some video and audio, like say I'm playing something from YouTube that's part of my lesson. So same thing, I'm gonna click on share. It is now sharing just this window, and you can see that by the blue box around it. And it's sharing the audio. So as soon as I press play on this video, they will get the digital audio. Also know that because you're sharing the tab, if you make it full screen, they will still get that as well. So they'll still get, it's still inside that tab, so they're going to get the full video and they get the audio. So again, that's probably your cleanest route to get audio into your, your, your virtual classroom, I guess we can just call it, um, is to use the present with Chrome tab solution here. The only time this is probably not going to be the best is when you're just trying to play some music while you show something else on your screen. So if you're just doing like background music, it's probably best to just go real low tech and like, you know, play the music from say your phone up to the microphone. So I know that sounds like super trashy or like low tech, but that's okay in that scenario. So anyway, hope that helped everybody out and um, we will see you soon. Thanks everybody.